What's up, guys? Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. We're here on vlog number 20 to 21. It's Wednesday, we're here to work out, obviously, because we're in the gym, throughout the strength, all the good vibes. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm currently watching to get myself motivated. We got Kobe Bryant on the screen. We got him over here with his uh, highlights. And it's like Kobe's like best highlights. And then we have him on the last stats over here with Michael Jordan. This video is going to be jam-packed with a lot of stuff. Obviously, said we got to train. But also, there's some, some moving parts that we have with GBT and like being able to set up our next shoot. We have a photo shoot tomorrow, <laughs> basically all day. So I wanted to document that. Just a lot of different moving parts. Today, we're just going to jump into it. It's a very easy event session. So let's get to work. Was trash. It just feels kind of awkward. I can't really get like a good rhythm down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it at 331. I'm gonna do my second set. Maybe I could get like a better technique groove with that. But I don't think we're gonna do I don't think we're gonna go anything too crazy. 331 second set. Alright, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Just ugly, ugly sets, man. Ugly sets. Honestly, but I figured out that it was because I had the rack high a little bit too high. And it was just like creating this awkward things where I couldn't really get in position on bench. But we have uh, some Spoto presses with our feet up. I actually did my first set wrong. But uh, I'll just show you guys what I'm doing. I have my feet off the floor. And the Spoto press comes from stopping like about like an inch or two above my chest. It was very interesting. What's up guys, this is now take number three. I'm trying to kind of just talk to you guys, but it's been a minute since I've actually been able to do a voiceover with you guys and kind of just have us talk one-on-one. -on -one. And I just wanted to take this time to kind of discuss how training has been going lately. So um, I have been trying to kind of recapture that energy and that intensity that I had the whole first part of this year. Uh, some of that has been kind of dissipated just because the stress of work and like being able to kind of like be there for my team and it takes a hit into the gym a little bit, but I've been slowly kind of finding that motivation to get back in. And I think a lot of that has been being me shifting my motivation to train. Now, I understand that motivation is fleeting, but there was a level of intensity that I had at the beginning of the, uh, the, the, beginning of the year that I no longer have because my energy have shifted. And that has been shifting more towards being thankful for having the opportunity to push myself to be the best version of myself. I remember back in 2017 when I only dreamed of having this opportunity of being able to have my own gym, have my own company or any of that kind of stuff. And now that it's finally here, I wanna work out with thankfulness and I wanna work out with a light heart and being happy to be here. And I think that has been helping a lot um, with shifting how I feel coming inside the gym instead of it being a, uh, being a chore. I'd rather be, I'd rather look at the gym as a privilege versus a chore. I caught another body, now I need a show the dog. All right, guys, post-workout meal. Shout out to Cali Cooks. This is the X-Mix fajita, so it's gonna be 32 grams of protein, uh, 54 grams of carbs, five grams of fat. So I'm not even gonna like detail or talk about just like what I'm doing recommitment-wise with my nutrition and all that kind of shit, to be honest with y'all. Um, I'm just gonna do it. So let's go ahead and down this. May or may not be going to UPS. Hey, I'm just gonna go with you to UPS, to be honest with you. I'm just gonna come with you to UPS. I feel like I need to be there with my ID and all that. Yeah. So yeah, we'll do that. And then um, we'll see what else we have to tackle for the day. Yeah, uh, yeah. Good morning, guys. It is the day after. Close to following day. I'm here with Weez. Uh, We're heading on over to UPS. You guys are getting like a behind the scenes look of how chaotic things can be. Um, <laughs> 
So like whenever you guys see us post like on the GBT page and all that, you just see like the finished product. But you also don't see like the stress, the headaches and all that kind of stuff that goes behind doing that kind of stuff. Yesterday, we got confirmation that the shirts are indeed gonna be here, but it's like literally the day of the shoot, right? We already have all the other products that we need. We were just waiting on the tees. We were supposed to have the tees like last week. Shit didn't work out, whatever. So they're coming this week. There was a delay. They were supposed to be here yesterday. We we're supposed to steam them and have them all ready for the shoot. Oh, I got this lights can light it away. They didn't get in until like literally this morning. And we're going to the actual distribution center for UPS to go pick them up physically because we cannot wait for them to be delivered out today because we're literally setting up the shoot at the location in the next hour or so. And we need the teeth to start steaming them and the model's gonna arrive there at 12. So it's like a long, long list of things. And it's a lot of headache and a lot of stress because like you're thinking about whether or not we need to cancel the shoot, or whether we need to reschedule everything. And then also like on top of that too, there's like little things like, uh, I can't really mention on here because it's not gonna be another two weeks or so, but just like little other small things that happen throughout the week that, you know, some of it's out of our control, some of it is definitely self-inflicted, but a lot of it is just like, hey man, when you work with other people, like you're kind of on their time as well, so things come up and it makes it very difficult to kind of get like your timelines down uh, to a T sometimes. Uh, this is definitely one of the ones where it was just a little bit more annoying and difficult, but we're still making it work. I always tell my team, you know, things in life are gonna happen regardless, and it's gonna be about your ability to adapt and change as those things are happening. Um, a lot of times, a lot of people will just fold and kind of give into the stress that comes with like not having things on all the time or not being able to do things on their own uh, time. But I like to say that my parents stressed me like growing up, you have to be able to persevere and like push through things and like adjust. So that's one thing I try to try to preach to the team. And then on top of that, my car is acting funny. So <laughs> that's why that's why I'm riding with weeds. Uh, so that's another that's another little little wrinkle into the game, but no worries. We're gonna roll with the punches and figure it out. I'll uh, we'll pick up the, the boxes, probably get a rental car, because I can't be relying on people to take uh, take me everywhere for like a week or so. And then um, we are gonna go to the shoot and kinda like put everything together. So yeah. <laughs> Literally got here as they open. This shit, this shit ain't a game, man. She's not a fucking game. Eyes, blood, shot, I'm smoking moon rock. All right, we got box number one. All right, so if you guys have ever gotten like multiple boxes from UPS, um, there's like a master tracking, or at least like a tracking that shows you if you have multiple boxes. Apparently, there's, I mean, there's, I knew there was two pieces, but I thought there was a master tracking for both of them, so I thought it applied to both. Unfortunately, it did not. So we put one package on hold. The other package, however, is not on hold. So meaning it is currently loaded onto a truck. The lady is gonna be super nice and she's gonna check if she could pull that box off the truck before they actually go out. I think they were supposed to go out like around 9 a.m. Our warehouse is actually down the street. So our warehouse is like literally like a mile down the street. We just drive straight and we'll be at our warehouse. So hopefully <laughs> they could pull the box off before they actually send the trucks out. Cause I don't think I've seen any of the trucks start moving or anything like that. We'll see, we'll see. Either way, we have two options. We have either we just get the box right now and then we're good, or I have to sit at the warehouse and wait for a little bit for the package to actually get delivered. Then I'll take it to the shoot, which is about like an hour away. It's all good, man. You just gotta roll with the punches. That was that was that was a good one. I didn't see that one coming. I was like, she she said she that shit. Us, yeah, she she said that shit. And I was like, I was like, what? no fucking way right now. She's like, do you have the other tracking number? I was like, other tracking number. There's just one tracking number, and then like. You click down and then like you scroll all the way down. It's like two, and I was like, okay. I was like, I can't even. Yeah, I can't even be mad at anyone but myself. So I'm just like, fuck. Like I didn't know that. I got everything I want, never sober. Oh, oh so that's like, yeah, yeah. I'm here because I need to get these boxes. Oh. All right, so we have the two boxes I'm from UPS. All right, so now it's time to head on over to the shoot. One of the bosses actually got missorted in North Carolina. Shout out to North Carolina and the people that are in North Carolina watching this. One of the bosses just got like missorted over in that location and it's not gonna be here. Probably not gonna be here until tomorrow, which is unfortunate, but it was probably like a tier two. The way that we're gonna kind of work around that is that we're just going to include that in the flat lay of photos that we will probably eventually post uh, whenever it's time to drop. I'm gonna stop by Smoothie King really quick, then head on over to the shoot. The shoot is actually a decent amount of <laughs> It's pretty far. It's like about an hour away. So it's in Humble, Texas. I'm in Missouri City, so it just takes a long time. So we're gonna get this Smoothie King. They let go of the green tea tango. I'm fucking mad. 
Now I was dreaming about a deal at the age of 13. All right, guys, so if you've arrived at the shoot, um, they're, pretty, they're pretty much done with like the whole setup. Everyone killed it. So now we're just getting, getting like flat lays out of the way, steaming the clothes, waiting for the models to pull up. So the shoot is gonna actually start like around 12. So once it starts, we're gonna start getting content. We have like the intro video that we need to film, the outro video, or like the full collection video, and obviously the shoot itself. A lot going on. Um, I think it's gonna be a really, really successful shoot. Just like kind of looking at how everything turned out on this end. Looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, Sersky. I hold that. Take it from me. <laughs> I like how now they're all moving. <laughs> they're like, hey. Say hi, guys. Yeah, I mean, I was just gonna like. Yeah. Yeah. Sheesh. That look good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, hey, just keep it on loop, bro. Hey, I'm right. I'm out of the clothes here. Everyone, back positions, rolling. Yep. Oh, you go. I was like, oops. I was dying. I was like, dang. You got a ragdoll. There's a dog ass. Can't take this girl nowhere. Alright, good job team. We did it. Alright, shit. I'll catch y'all. Better on three. One, two, three. Okay, on a serious note, the day is done. Oh, sorry guys, I'm taking off my I'm taking off my backpack. Super long day. Man, just a lot of things, a lot of moving parts, but like I said, successful day. Uh, shooting models were amazing clothes were amazing the look was amazing the team really executed i think i kind of took like more of a backseat on this particular drop and i kind of wanted to let them be and show their creative muscles a lot of what they do is their concept and their ideas safe to say they execute pretty well now we'll just have to wait and see what the end result is going to be but like man very very happy with how everything's turned out just showing you guys kind of like the chaotic side of things and like how things can pan out if you just like allow yourself to kind of like go through the chaos and and push through it i mean i'm hungry as hell i'm tired as hell i got a massive headache but we're about to head on over to corrupt the strength it's about like maybe like ooh, 40 minutes from here and we're gonna get a workout and we have heavy deads today and uh, just because we had a long shoot doesn't mean that we're not going to work out today. So I'm going to drive, try to re decompress a little bit. I might stop by Smoothie King again to grab another smoothie before we head on to the gym. And yeah, just very, very successful shoot. I'll probably send the team a nice message while I drive back. Okay, guys, made it to Corrupted. We got some yak being made right here. We got Gatorade. Oh, shit. We got Gatorade mixed with pre workout or fly pre-workout and then we also got to mix with some creatine we're gonna try to come back alive i'm not gonna lie my head is throbbing <laughs> took some took some uh, pain pills had hurts and i think it's because i'm dehydrated but 
No worries. So we're gonna sip on this and then get activated. Now, I want to sit down too long because it's just gonna make me not want to work out. And I really want to get finished up with this workout, get back home, eat, and then start the recovery process because I'm roasted. Carrying all those boxes and just being out and just moving around and being on my feet. Not drinking water. Bruh. I'm telling you, it's killing me. I was able to eat one of my meal preps while I was at the shoot though, so that's good. But let's down this. We got Top Gun playing in the back. Mmm. Is that good stuff? All right, so we obviously started the workout. I feel roasted, and I actually check my program. It's not a very easy session. That's my most hated rep scheme of all time, which is a five by three. So we have a heavy single RP of seven, meaning mm, kind of heavy. And then after that, we have a five by three, and I hate five by threes. So we're gonna we're gonna try to kind of like practice some mental toughness here. I'm tired as fuck. I don't feel like lifting that much. My body's kind of telling me 585-ish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work and we're going to keep like pushing and seeing where I kind of land at. And then after that, we'll push a little bit harder. If that makes sense. So we're gonna find where we're gonna be breaking at and then like for the session in the scope of the session, kind of push through that. And then uh, we're gonna have the five by three, which is gonna be fucking awful, but you know, <laughs> too much is given much success. So uh, it's a good opportunity to kind of practice some mental toughness. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, in all honesty, that uh, 595 felt like 585. Shit. Uh, so we're at the threshold. This is where I thought we would probably be at. So we have 585. We'll see. The main goal is I want to like focus in and like get pissed and lift this 585, and then after that do 635. And then have it move to RP7. Because I think that this is like the number I should be doing for today's session. But in like theory, I would want to move this way well. And then like execute some mental toughness and can push through it. My body's tired as fuck, but I want to be able to tell my body to, to shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's like a combination of being able to listen to your body. But then also like being in control of how you feel in a certain extent. I mean, you don't want to push through too much, but... You know, some days you just wake up and you're like, yeah, I feel like, I feel like a big bitch today. So, 585. Okay, obviously, I mean, that move like, it felt like shit. Um, didn't move good whatsoever, in my personal opinion. But, sorry, I keep looking up at my IG live. What we're gonna do, is like I said, we're gonna practice some mental toughness. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add 25s on each side, which is gonna make 635, and stick to the game plan that we currently have. I'm gonna get pissed. <laughs> I'm gonna get pissed for this top set, and then I'm gonna drop it all the way down to 495, and do my uh, my five sets of three, and then get the fuck out of here. <laughs> all right, let's add the weight. Sometimes you just gotta tell yourself, to don't be a bitch. Today's definitely one of them days. This bad boy on. Okay, so we slay the dragon 635. Now we're gonna speed through this shit. We got five, three, five sets of three. I'm gonna do 595 for the first set and probably drop it down to maybe like 405 for the main sets. But I'm just gonna keep knocking this shit out. And I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna sleep, I'm gonna eat, and like, I'm just gonna like try to recover as much as possible. I'm gonna get my nails done tomorrow too. Fuck them. Oh, oh, oh. 
Okay. All done with the workout. <laughs> Thankfully, man. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm super rested, I'm super tired. I'm just thankful to be able to be finished with the day. Um, it's currently about to be 9 p.m. at night. So I basically had a had like a 13 hour day. So from before nine all the way to nine, you know, with photo shoot, workout, and then now we're gonna have the nightcap. So actually keep that open. Yeah, so hope you guys were able to kind of just like get a hold on like what it typically looks like on a content day for us. Um, the work actually isn't finished because they have to go and edit everything out. They have to edit the videos, they have to edit out the pictures, they have to edit out the reels um, for the Instagram content that's gonna be happening. But this launch, this launch is gonna be happening April 29th. I wanted to kind of like keep that close to the chest, but um, this is my YouTube channel. So, you know, obviously you guys are gonna get uh, first dibs on everything. But yeah, I was very excited for this particular drop. We have a lot of different items that we haven't launched before. Like we have corduroy hats, we have like a whole denim jacket. Um, we have denim pants, we have uh, we have shysties, which is insane. We also have like the GBT um, bandana. Uh, just a lot of cool items, like little novelty items that we haven't th uh, done before that actually like kind of goes like a long way for uh, the consumers. So hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoy this video as well. Super tired. Like I said, I'm gonna go home, rest, sleep, eat, recover, all that good stuff, and then just relax. So thank you guys for tuning into today's vlog. Like always, if you like today's video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Get better today. I'm out.